My name is Kristen Jane Anderson, and I'd like to share how God gave me life in spite of me. My story could easily be your story or the story of someone you love. My childhood memories are sweet and happy, typical of life in a loving home. But at age 17, after a series of tragic events, including the death of my grandmother, the deaths of three of my friends, and being raped by another, I began to feel hopeless. I didn't know I was in a depression, and I didn't know there was help. On a cold winter night, I left a short note for my parents, and I went for a walk. In a park near my house, the pain inside of me overwhelmed me, and I just didn't think I could take it anymore. I had never considered suicide before, but the sound of a train whistle reminded me that it could end the pain quickly and permanently. It could end my life if only I would lay down on the tracks. Before I could change my mind, I did it. I laid down in front of an oncoming train. As the train passed over me, I felt it begin to suck at me, almost up into it. But shortly after, I felt the sensation of being pushed down. After the train stopped, I wasn't sure if I was alive or dead. I looked around and I saw my legs about 10 feet from me. I knew they were my legs because I could see the bright white tennis shoes on them that I'd just gotten for Christmas. The pain came shortly after that, and an awareness that I had survived. I wasn't dead. Police and paramedics arrived, and I was taken to the hospital. Before, I'd known emotional pain, but now, in addition to that, I began a journey of physical challenges as well. In the years that followed my suicide attempt, I continued to struggle with depression and suicidal thoughts. But eventually, I got involved with a really good church, and the love I found in Christ transformed my life. I realized I'd been given a second chance, that God had a plan for my life, and that I could make a difference in the world. I gave my life over to Christ and found extraordinary joy and purpose. It hasn't always been easy, in fact, I've had many setbacks, but I continue to put my trust in God every day. For the last six years, I've been continuing my education, speaking at conferences and churches, and managing the ministry I founded called Reaching You. Because of what I've been through, and because of my faith in God, I've had the privilege of speaking into the lives of others. And hopefully, I've helped some in a big way. It's also my hope that with my book, Life in spite of me, I will be able to reach people who don't know that there's life in Christ. I want them to know that suicide is never the answer. I hope to save lives because God first saved mine.